This is the Business Agility video series, which you can watch in any order. I'm David Siegel. In each video, I spend five minutes unpacking one of these concepts from Business Agility. This video is about hedgehogs versus foxes. Philip Tetlock at the University of Pennsylvania has been studying people's ability to predict the future, and he's learned that there are two kinds of people, the hedgehog and the fox. A hedgehog is the kind of person you see on TV or running for office, someone who has a position and conviction that he is right, someone who drives toward a singular goal without regard for what others think. In most cases, this is what we call a leader. But the person who gets it right far more often is the fox, someone who has many small ideas and makes progress in small steps, not in big jumps. A fox is happy to kill off anything that isn't working and adjusts his view of the world as he gets new information. Foxes are flexible and can respond to environmental changes that would kill a hedgehog. Let's be clear. Hedgehogs change the world, in part because they refuse to accept the world as it is. Hedgehogs make great salespeople. Foxes are realists. They make better, more consistent managers. We need both kinds of people in business. But for every successful hedgehog, there are countless unsuccessful hedgehogs who are just as qualified but didn't get as lucky. Those hedgehogs who do get lucky and establish themselves as leaders tend to dominate their market by brute force. People who work for them believe in the mission but often don't enjoy the process. When hedgehogs no longer dominate, they go home and play golf, or they buy huge yachts. I'm not sure what the deal is with the huge yachts, but they are all owned by hedgehogs. Foxes are quiet, humble, and qualify their statements. They listen. They promote people. They are open to criticism. They tend to start charitable foundations and work hard their entire lives. As Tetlock says, foxes pursue many ends, often unrelated and even contradictory. They entertain ideas that are centrifugal rather than centripetal, without seeking to fit them into or exclude them from any one all-embracing vision. Probably the most important thing foxes do is update their view when they get new information. They continually reassess and recalibrate, something most of us could learn to do better and something most politicians are afraid of. Which brain surgeon would you rather have operate on you? The famous one who is sure of himself and quick? Or the one who takes her time, talks about the possibilities, tries to quantify your chances, asks you to consider the option of waiting, and encourages you to get a second opinion? Don't let me influence you with any subliminal suggestions Always use System 2 to choose a surgeon. Successful hedgehogs get tremendous validation from the real world and have no incentive to change. And you can argue that some of them shouldn't. But if you work for or with a hedgehog, you know he can also be his own worst enemy. You will find most hedgehogs resistant to change. Instead, surround hedgehogs with foxes. This is especially true of boards. Too many boards are made up of people who are similar and who rubber stamp the plans of the CEO. Or they bring in someone who has a winning track record only to discover that streaks don't last forever. One headstrong hedgehog is best balanced by a number of clever foxes. Together they form a kind of barbell, a balanced team that can be very effective. Prediction and decision-making are skills. A diverse group of people who are willing to be trained in these skills can work together. When the hedgehog proposes something new, they can ask hard questions, make suggestions, and nudge him in a better direction. For example, rather than blasting off on a new mission, foxes will ask, Can we try it? How can we run some experiments to validate these assumptions? By working together, foxes can build consensus and lead their company in a number of new directions. 
come to businessagilityworkshop.com and get started on your journey.